lay the foundation for the floor of our new wood kiln here at USA. So take it away, John. <laughs> so the first thing we did was came in and dug out about four inches down from the height of our concrete pad, which we'll pour tomorrow after their, our frost is out of the way. And then we compacted the dirt and we're laying down a layer of sand and then these big concrete pavers. On top of those will go a layer of red brick, which is stacking up over there, soft brick on top of that, and then our hard brick, which will be the floor of the kiln. So we'll end up about this tall after just all the floor layers are stacked. And that's really the first part of getting this thing accomplished. The tricky part about this particular section is that each brick, each block that I'm laying has to be leveled out individually and with all the other blocks in order so we have a nice level foundation to build on. That's what we're slowly working on.
bricks lying around in piles that we that they said we can use. Plus all the different flavors they're giving us. for the wear chamber, Stetson's down there digging out and laying some brickwork for the um, firebox. We're continuing to let our slab of cement here, we're wet, 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 um, curing it. That's the word I want, wet curing it. Um, and so pretty much it's just a bunch of manual labor with bricks and digging and yeah, that's been the day. Firebox. The firebox. Okay, so I'm working on the firebox. Um, first, it had to be 15 inches down, and then leveling, leveled it out, and then now I'm just starting with the perimeter around, putting bricks down, and leveling them out brick by brick. That's about it. I don't know where it's going to go from there. I'm uh, laying out the arch brick or the arch uh, bricks for this uh, kiln. Um, the idea is um, we're going to make it two, but it's uh, 12 feet long here, so I'm uh, figuring out exactly uh, what dimensions and what bricks go where, so that when we go to build it, it'll go a lot quicker. So Danny and I are working on laying our second level of concrete block. So this is for the back step of the kiln, leading to the chimney, which is on the pad where Danny's sitting. And, uh, we're making sure that we're spanning this gap between the concrete pad and the previous layer of block. We're also making sure to stagger our bricks over top of the gaps in the previous layer of floor. So that we might have right, so any kind of uh, shifting that can happen there. These are going to go out to about halfway down this floor layer. We go the way up to our firebox behind us. And then we'll be adding a layer of red brick, a layer of soft insulating brick, and then a layer of hard brick that will be the actual interior floor of the kiln. And hopefully that's all going to happen today. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, at this current present point in time, this is going to be right, um, Shannon's on over here and they're trying to build up in here so that way it'll be placed more the cinder blocks this way towards the firebox. It's all even. And us pour soils on the outside, get the bottom rung jobs, and we're trying to even out the ground here. So we continue with placing cinder blocks along the side as support for the wall of the kiln. <laughs> and that's pretty much.